Hi, today we are going to talk about bottlenose dolphin. Although there are thousands of different dolphin species, the bottlenose dolphin is perhaps to be the most recognized and well known around the world. And there are currently around 40 classified dolphin species in our oceans, and their preferences is being in the warm waters due to their mammalian nature. Even though dolphins live in waters, dolphins are mammals. They breathe air through a hose on top of their head, called the blowhole. When they go under the water, the dolphins close their blowhole tight to convert oxygen they have retrieved after surfacing. Dolphins found their prey via echo locations and make a special sound which bounces off of objects around them to communicate. Dolphins live in groups called pods, which usually around somewhere between 10 to 30 members. However, dolphins pod have been spotted with more than 1,000 dolphins together. On average, a bottlenose dolphin is about 4 meter long and weigh about 650 kg. Bottlenose dolphins can live up to 50 years old, with females slightly longer than the males. They can jump out of the water 6 meters in the air. There are more than half a million bottlenose dolphins swimming in our oceans, and fortunately, they are not in danger. Dolphins are very intelligent and have a special relationship with humans. There are many dolphins kept in captivity that are trained to do tricks and complete more important works like locating underwater mines. To fishermen in lagunas of Brazil, dolphins are very important. They forge one of the most extraordinary partnerships in working together. Incredibly, the dolphins drive the mullahs towards the fishermen and even signal when to cast their nets. The dolphin herd the fish towards the fishermen so they can be caught. The castings of the net panic the fish, resultings of the fish into smaller groups which makes it for the dolphins easier to chase them. Can dolphin be domesticated? It claims that captive dolphins are semi-domesticated. A captive state of a wild animal in which its living conditions and often its breeding is controlled by humans. In most cases, the dolphin in marine park must be captured from the wild. In dolphin areas, reproduction is difficult. In addition to hunting or killing the dolphins during the captures, these kidnappings have terrible effects on the pot of wild dolphin. Over 2,300 bottlenose dolphins were captured for display purposes. Let's see the comparisons between native and captive environments. In native environments, dolphins can swim freely in the wild with dozens of family members. In captive environments, they only swim with small groups and in small pools. In native environments, they share their food with each other and have good amounts of activity and socialization. In captive, they're fed with frozen food, leading to loss of nutrients, which their diet needs to provide with supplements. This leads to their common problems, dehydration, and they will become aggressive to watch each other. In the wild, they use echolocation to communicate, hunt, discover, and recognize their environment. In captive, they rarely use echolocation due to the small area and nothing is new. This causes stress to the animals. Dolphins are stressed by the machinery noise or loud music played during and after the show. Wild bottlenose dolphins can live up to 50 to 60 years old. In captive, they rarely live more than 20 years. Dolphins are active animals. In fact, even when they sleep, half of their brain is alert and they never stop swimming. Wild dolphins can cooperate with each other to solve tasks and they can recognize symbols when trained. Dolphins are intelligent. They are socially skilled, intelligent, joyful, and playful creatures that they share many emotions similar to humans. However, pollution and climate change threaten their way of life and the future health and well-being of bottlenose dolphins. Climate change is expected to be the main cause of massive extinction. Pollutions of human creations. Human causes oils, sewage, litters, chemicals, and plastic. Plastic is the biggest pollution in the oceans. In 2010, between 4.8 and 12.7 million tons of plastic found its way into the oceans. 
If a dolphin species become extinct, we lost not only a beautiful animals but its society and its culture. This would disrupt the natural balance in the food chain and could negatively affect other wildlife and the health of the ocean environment. By protecting marine dolphins like this, we will help to keep our sea healthy, which is good for all other wildlife and billions of people who rely on the seas for the survival. Country must work together to ensure the survival of dolphins who swim beyond our border, particularly as reefs are confined by climate change and pollution. What can we do to help reduce pollution in our oceans? Reduce single-use plastics, recycle properly, participate in a beach or river cleanups, support ban single-use plastic in other countries, spread the word. It is our responsibility to save our world from pollution. And thank you for watching.